In this lesson, we are going to learn about Azure Resource Manager templates. And we will learn about the different terminologies you need to understand about an Azure Resource Manager template. All right. So let's start with understanding Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager provides a consistent management layer to perform tasks through Azure Portal, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI, REST APIs, and Client SDKs. All capabilities that are available in the Azure portal are also available through Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI, the REST APIs, and Client SDKs. The functionalities initially released through APIs will be represented in the portal within 180 days of initial release. So to understand the Azure Resource Manager template, we need to understand the terminology. So let me explain these one by one. The first one is a resource. Resource is a manageable item that is available through Azure. Some common resources are a virtual machine, storage account, web application, database, and virtual network. The second one is a resource group. So resource group is a container that holds related resources for an Azure solution. The resource group can include all the resources for the solution or only those resources that you want to manage as a group. You decide how you want to allocate resources to resource group based on what makes the most sense for your organization. The next one is a resource provider. Resource provider is a service that supplies the resources that you can deploy and manage through resource manager. Each resource provider offers operations for working with the resources that are deployed. Some common resource providers are Microsoft Compute, which supplies the virtual machine resource, Microsoft Storage, which supplies the storage account resource, and Microsoft Web, which supplies the resource related to web applications. Another terminology which we need to understand is Resource Manager Template. Resource Manager Template is a JavaScript object notation, which is known as JSON file, that defines one or more resources to deploy to a resource group. It also defines the dependencies between the deployed resources. The template can be used to deploy the resources consistently and repeatedly. The next one is declarative syntax. Declarative syntax is what lets you state, here is what I intended to create without having to write the sequences of programming commands to create it. The resource manager template is an example of declarative syntax. In the file, you define the properties of the infrastructure to deploy to Azure. So let's look at a resource manager template deployment example. With resource manager, you can create template in JSON format that defines the infrastructure and configuration of your Azure solution. By using a template, you can repeatedly deploy your solution throughout its life cycle and have confidence that your resources are deployed in a consistent state. And when you create a solution from the portal, the solution automatically includes a deployment template. You don't have to create your template from scratch because you can start with the template for your solution and customize it to meet your specific needs. You can also retrieve a template for an existing resource group by either exporting the current state of the resource group Viewing the exported template is a helpful way to learn about the template syntax. Uh, so let me quickly go back to the Azure portal and show you how the resource manager template look like. So one way to easily find out the readily available ARM templates is by going into Azure Quick Start Templates. So search for Azure Quick Start Templates. And this is where you would be able to find most commonly used and most popular quick start templates you can reuse. So let's assume you want to deploy, uh, 
Yeah, so let's assume you want to deploy a configuration manager current branch in Azure. So select that and it gives you information about what it does and what are the parameters which is defined. And uh, if you want to deploy it via PowerShell or command line, you can see that command over here. And if you want to straight away deploy to Azure, just click on deploy to Azure. Since I logged into the Azure portal on the same browser, it immediately used my login credentials to log into the Azure portal. And it only asks you for certain parameters to select some subscription, uh, where would you like to host it, what's the prefix you want to give, how many number of clients you want to support, configurations, things like that. Once you provide it, this, this template is going to deploy the SCCM current branch resources within Azure. And as you can see that there are six resources. So another way to view is let's go to GitHub and we can visualize how it is going to look like. So click on visualize and it is going to show me what are the high level components which is going to involve in this whole deployment. And you can click on visualize to see how it is going to look like including the script which is associated with the whole deployment. If you do want to edit parameters or templates, you can do it right on this and you can add your own custom code or lines within these template. After you populate all the necessary data which is required for this template, hit on review and create to deploy this whole solution within Azure. So let's look into three tier Azure resource manager template. So how you define templates and resource group is entirely up to you and how you want to manage your solution. For example, you can deploy your three-tier application through a single template to a single resource group. For example, in this template, it includes app service, which is associated with an SQL database. And we have a separate resource called virtual machine in the same resource group. The next thing we need to understand about resource manager template is nested resource manager templates. So to deploy complex solutions, you can break your Azure Resource Manager templates into many related templates and then deploy them together through a main template. The related templates can be separate files or template syntax that is embedded within the main template. This following example show how to deploy three tier solution through a parent template that includes three nested templates. If you envision your tiers having separate lifecycle, you can deploy your three tier to separate resource groups. Notice the resources can still be linked to resources in other resource group. And if you want to create a resource manager template, you can create it one for yourself using Azure portal as well. Resource manager templates are JSON files that define the resources that you need to deploy for your solution. You can create a resource template from the settings section for a specific virtual machine by selecting, by selecting the automation script option. And you can create resource manager templates in Visual Studio Code and use Azure CLI to deploy them as well. So that concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about Azure Container Instances. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.